welcome back to the Play by Play podcast. I'm your host, Finn Hogan. Back with your co-host, Alec Palella. How's it going, First guys? First podcast back from the break, so bear with us. We're trying to get back into the mode. We kind of pre-filmed all those, if you couldn't tell, by like, the things we talked about and stuff like that. But... First guest back, we have the Burt Emanuel Jr., CMU quarterback. Burt, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How y'all boys doing? I'm doing great. Fantastic. We just got done throwing routes, so we kind of just came right from the facility to film a podcast. Burt, I know you didn't really want to do it. Burt said he was camera shy and I'm stuff like that. I'm a little camera shy, y'all. My but fault. But he's going to do great, and it's fine because you're not even looking at the cameras. You're just talking to us. You're right. You're right. So, yeah. How was break? It's cool. You got know, to go home. Got to go back home. It's warm. Yeah, right? I, yeah, I don't, I don't miss the cold. Gosh, no. you know, like you see, Chicago this? was terrible, wasn't it? Yes, actually, there was a couple days where it was like in the sixties. I was like, "What?" Because we're here, and it's when? always. It was like the first three days back. It was like high fifties, low sixties, and then it dropped to like negative fifteen. Yeah, like, I was gonna say, right, it like got in, cold. Yeah, it's just crazy how like bipolar the weather is in Chicago. It sucks. So on Christmas, y'all always have it it's snowing. Honestly, the it, last few um, years we haven't had snow. It didn't snow like my whole break except Christmas Eve and Christmas. It was kind of we did weird. have snow this year though. I had snow. We had because I can't like get on the fields. Like you could probably go out and work oh, yeah. out like whatever. Sun shining, no yeah. clouds in the sky. If you don't have like great. a turf field that's like plowed off the snow, you can't like unless you have like an indoor place you can go to. Like but we have turf, but it like you gotta let the my 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 high school field is grass. So yeah, I have nowhere terrible. to go. That's bad, bro. I'm not going to lie. So like, I didn't get on the field until like the very last week because all the snow. Yeah. Like, we got hammered when they got hit. You guys didn't get any snow, though, which is good. Like, yeah. We, we, well, like, when we fire. got snow, we got like two or three feet. Like it was like, a lot. So yeah. it was there for a while. You got a tat. Got, I did get a Talk about the tat. Too. You can kind of. Uh, I don't know if you want to look at it pretty show much. That one. It's uh, a compass. And then the background's Italy because my family's from Italy. I got a little flag on there, banner with my last name. And then instead of northeast, southwest, it's each initial of my family members and the meanings basically no matter what direction life takes you, you always have your family. So we love it. Bert, you That's also nice. got some new angles, right? Um yeah, I got my shoulder done. Uh I got a I ain't gonna take the hoodie off. Yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> yeah, I got a dove, then I got Romans twelve twenty one on my shoulder and it says be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Then my oh. mom was pissed about it. So <laughs> To like make up for it, like I went and got it. I got done at like three a.m., so I came home and she was asleep. So I ordered her like some Fashion Nova clothes. I love it. And <laughs> I wanted, make up for it. Yeah, I got her some Fashion Nova and some cookies and ice cream. Cause she went to work early in the morning. She didn't see it. Set it all up in the like yeah. in the living room. She came back from work and saw it, and she was like, "This still doesn't make up for it." It was mad, and she tried to like. <laughs> so you, you didn't? Did your dad know? Yeah, no, they your knew. Dad did. Oh, they knew. Like this. my mom, my mom has a tattoo on her foot. My dad has the tattoos, but she just doesn't like them. Yeah, my dad didn't want me to get it on my forearm because, like, he said jobs and stuff. Yeah, like, that's but true. I said, like, times are changing. Like, if, if a boss is going to be, like, pissy about my tattoo, like, I don't want to work for him anyway. So, like, yeah. screw it. You know what I'm saying? I how, how long did yours take? Like, three hours. Mine was seven. <laughs> that's crazy. That's, yeah, yeah, I can do you have a lot that. of shading on yours or not really? Mine's more shading than it is lining. So, like, why does yours? I guess yours. Because like, mine has detail. a lot like, detail, of detail. Yeah. A lot of, of detail. Like, I only have detail in my dove, really. Yeah. My guy also, like, this is my first ever tattoo, but my brother and my uncle both go to him, and my uncle has, like, his whole body tattooed, and he said he's a little slower because yeah. he takes his time. He, like, took, like, a five-minute break every hour to smoke a cig <laughs> and shit like that. Yeah, so. like that. I would but. get one, but, like, I don't know where I would get it. And get what something I, on your I would put, it, like, something leg, like, yeah, yeah, right? Something, yeah, like, right there. Bro. I don't know what, though. I'll you should get it. A, yeah, I would say leg or, like, Forearm for you or something like that. I feel like you would, that would be good. For I you. can see leg, bro. I definitely. Feel like, a yeah. le- like that thigh. You just have. Thigh. Are you like, willing to shave though? Yeah. Because once you know, because like you once you get the tat, you're gonna keep have to keep shaving it. So oh it's good. really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Dang. It's not that. Bad. I mean, I would still do it. Whatever. I guess. Yeah. Then I might. Yeah. Do I'm on my arm or something. So I mean, did your yeah. lining hurt or your shading? My shading, bro. He he would. Cause like so for me, like the first couple hours. Especially, so I had two sessions. I had a four hour and then a three hour. <laughs> yeah, and they were like eight days apart. So the first time, like the first two and a half hours were like honestly easy, like really easy. I didn't even feel it. Like it just felt like a scratch. Like someone was scratching. It's not that bad. But then after like your skin's irritated and then he goes back over it and stuff, that's when it starts to hurt a lot because like he's like rubbing, like starting to do like the shading and your skin's already like damn near bleeding type. You know what I mean? Like it's really red. That's when it starts to hurt. Yeah. For me, it was the lining hurt. 
That hurt. The, the, like the sharper one. What, when it's like, bro, yeah. it hurt. I felt every single ounce of it. <laughs> all three hours was torture. It was bad. Is the shoulder? You got. You said shoulder, right? Yeah, I got all, from here all the way down. Oh, so the whole. The okay. whole shoulder. Where did it hurt most? Like down here. It hurt. I felt all of it down here. Yeah, because right? I heard like this part's not bad. Like you feel it's this? Thicker, like, like when you got more muscle and stuff. When I got the the top the top of the doves like right here, so I yeah. felt it like all in my neck. Really? <laughs> so I was I, like I was sweating, bro. I was shaking. <laughs> like my leg was. Yeah, going you, right it's there. hard to stay still because you can't move. Or else you're Not screwed, all, bro. but yeah, yeah. All right, question of the day. We always start with the question of the day, but right, if you're kind of new to this and stuff, question of the day Does pineapple belong on pizza? Absolutely not. Alec, what agreed. do we think about that? I 100% agree. Now, why I need you to support your statement because honestly, I people can make valid reasons on why pineapple is on pizza. Why can't it be on it pizza? It just does not taste good. You don't like pineapple in general. No, I do, but not on pizza. When I think of pizza, I'm thinking like just pepperonis. Like I keep okay. it simple. I'm a very simple person when it comes to my foods. Okay. So when I think pizza, like in the calf today, I have pepperoni pizza. So I'm gonna stick to that. <laughs> I don't want nothing else, nothing more. Well, I just don't like pineapple to be honest. I'm not a big pineapple. What? I like. I'll eat it sometimes when it's just by itself. But like, if it's on pizza, like that just makes it ten times worse. That's crazy. Cause I feel like pineapple is like my favorite. Pineapple. Really? So no. do you like like pineapple flavored candy? Yeah. Oh. Oh, name a pineapple flavored candy. Like you know how like, like like the little Mike and Ikes, they'll be like a pineapple flavor. Yeah, I, dude, yeah. I'm not like a picky person. See, are you like the guy that like orange Skittles? You won't eat any orange candy or some like something like that. Is I mean, look, no, I, that eat is you. I eat it. I eat it. I eat it. Don't get me wrong, because I'm not gonna waste my money. But it's not good. Like, like orange sour patch kids. I hate orange sour patch kids with what? Passion. Like I love. Like for me now, if pizza's on the pizza, or pineapples on the pizza, I'm not gonna. Like, obviously, I would prefer I would take other off. things, mm-hmm. but I'll eat it. I don't care. Like, I don't have an issue Well, with what's your, like, what's your guys' go-to, like, topic? Pepperoni. Just I'd pepperoni. pepperoni. Have classic. you guys ever had sausage and jalapenos? Yes. You've had that? Yes. Isn't that shit? That shit's it's so good. good. I, I love that. That's I, my I favorite. spicy. Like, jalapenos. Are, I mean, I know that it's spicy, spicy, but, like, it's, spicy. Yeah, it's really not. It's not. not like if You have to build up a tolerance for it. Right. I don't And it depends on, like, the jalapeno. Like, sometimes it's spicier than other times, but it's just a flavor. It's so good. I got a question for y'all. Would y'all do the one chip challenge? Yeah, I did. Who I could did probably. It? I, me. You did, it? you did it. Me, Langston, Omar, and Leek did it. For people that don't know what the one chip challenge is, it comes in like a box and it's like like a black. Is it dark blue or it's black? It's a black, black and black. blue coffin. Yeah. And like you, it's literally one <laughs> chip. It comes right. in its own container, one chip. Was, and you take it out and you just it's like a one eat like you just throw it in and it's, it's what is it like the hottest chip bro? but it's the it's it's terrible bro I saw a video Did you guys get like, like milk before like Ed or someone bro. had like a jug of milk me and Lane like, like so chugging look, it what you didn't see so I took off I ended up taking off all my clothes it was on the third <laughs> it was on the third floor so at, in the third floor there were some girls I'm full speed running I had to run all the way downstairs bro I went downstairs luckily I had a jug of milk in my fridge in my room so I grabbed the milk. Go to the restroom. I'm pouring over me in the shower. Like I got, I got cold water on in the shower. I'm pouring the milk on me. Like my head was hurting. And I'm look, I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't Aww. have milk in the first place. So then you had to shit after. So, bro, then it was like my stomach. My stomach was already messed up, bro. Then I had the milk. You just add it on. It was just a bad situation. Yeah. For me. God, that's funny. I, know, I would do it. I would send it. I, I would just have to film it so I could like post it and stuff I like that. I promise you, bro, you do not want to do it. <laughs> I would do it. My, like, yeah, my brother's done the blazing challenge. That's definitely not as bad as probably. That's at beat ups, right? Yeah, yeah. beat ups. I did and that he, one too. He said, God damn did it, was it. Not as bad as the chip. Not as bad as the chip, but no, it's still it's bad, like, bro. My brother said he would get it just because like, he liked them. Like, my brother's weird, like, spicy stuff. I did it for a bit. It was like yeah. first one to drink water gets. Yeah. Like I'm the last one gets that gets water gets twenty. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to win twenty. Mm-hmm. I lost again. <laughs> That's crazy. I could never do that. Shoot, Omar didn't even. Omar was perfectly fine. Yeah. That's, See, I think that affects crazy. people in different ways. Yeah, I, don't know. I start bad sweating bad. so bad when I eat spicy food. Yeah, yeah my nose is running, yeah. bro. My dad's balding whenever he eats spicy food. He starts whole sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Just gets the little pellets all over. That's funny. All right, back to we'll get into the football thing. You're from Texas. Right. Texas, I think, is considered, like, Texas football is a different level of football. Damn near college football. Like, what was, like, your, te- like, did you go to, like, what size was your school? Did you go to a really big school or yeah, something I went like to that? Yeah, I was in the biggest division in the state. So okay, I was dang. 6A Division One. I've seen, like, videos. I don't know if you've seen this. There's, like, this one stadium, and it looks like a college yeah, stadium. Yeah, I've seen it. I mean, I've it's, like, it. all the way around. Oh, There's, like, huge. a press box. It's We have multiple stadiums like that. But, like, that's crazy. So, like, this two the two biggest stadiums I played in that weren't, like, a college stadium or NFL stadium was... Uh, Legacy Stadium was in Katy. It's like a five million dollar stadium. It's huge. Then my home stadium was called Hall Stadium. 
and another big, just a big same. Like you grow up, like all little league teams play there. Yeah, so you've been playing there since you're six, all the way up to you're eighteen. So you get used to it over time. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. sweet. I remember because like that's cr- even the like, even the one that we practiced in when we went to El Paso. Yeah, that the, was crazy too. That that one was literally like a bowl. Like it was it wasn't oh, as yeah, big as like there, ours, obviously, but like. You had to like walk down yeah, stairs to get to the field. Yeah, they had the kind of jump. Like it was. Yeah. We weren't there for that, but yeah. no, yeah. I mean, that was a decently sized stadium. Yeah, Texas football is obviously different. Like, what was it like? Like the game atmosphere, recruiting. Is it like just? I mean, obviously, how long have you played football for your entire life? Since I know your four. your father yeah. played in the NFL and stuff like that. So yeah. obviously, that's got to be a big part. So the atmosphere, of the game was like, it's crazy. Like it's exactly like a college game. That's why, yeah. like, like my like my first game when I played Buffalo, like. It, was, it wasn't a lot of people there. Then Western, it was a lot of people there. That's, like, what I'm used to. Yeah. Like, Oklahoma State, it was like that every game. Yeah, like, that's crazy. We saw every game in high school, whether your team was good or bad, like, everybody everybody, came. everybody was it's there. Texas football. Like, if it was a Friday night, everybody's shutting down. You go to the game. After the game, you go to Waterburger. You hang out at Waterburger until, like, 2, 3 in the morning. That's, that's it. Long. God. Like, I, I lived in the middle of nowhere. Like, I, was, uh, I know we kind of talked, but I'm, like, I graduated with, like, 55 kids. Yeah. Like, my high school is K through 12. So, like, I went to the same high school or, like, same school my entire life. Like, I think the most people I've ever played in front of was 1,000 or something like that. That's that's, yeah, that's crazy. Wild, wild. Well, that's honestly me, too. I think maybe, like, 1,500 because, like, uh, my, my division, I'm the, in the biggest division, too, in Illinois. So, I'm 8A, and my school had, like, three, 4,000 people, whatever. And the only game we would really get, like, packed, packed was our rival game. Yeah. And they would have to, like, rent out bleachers and stuff like that. But besides that... My stands maybe fit like 300, 400 people. Like they're That's small. That's crazy. Like we didn't have we didn't have stands until my sophomore year. That's we had we had to play at one of our other conference team st- uh, fields because like we didn't That's have bad. a field. Yeah, but that just shows like Texas football is like that's yeah. like different. Like it's bad, bro. You mentioned the Buffalo game. I want to talk about that because I feel like that was your like big college like breakout mm-hmm. moment. For people that don't, we had a Buffalo game. Uh, we've had some quarterback stuff going on and whatnot, and then. Burt came in, played the first half a little. Like, were you, did you play the whole first half? Um, I got in for like goal line, like two. Yeah, plays. that's right. Then I got in for a del- I was in for a play, got delay a game. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Then I, I got, that was <laughs> that was not your fault. It, it happens, it, right? Then I'd have. Is it you? No, no. Oh. It was nobody on the field. <laughs> <No. fault. laughs> Nobody just, on the field. It was just miscommunication. Was it? Oh, oh, never mind. Nobody yeah. on the I field. Remember not, I remember. <laughs> then I ran for like twelve yards. We didn't get the first down, so we punted, and that was the whole first half for me. Yeah, and then you came in and had three hundred rushing yards in the second half. Yeah, wasn't it like the most rushing yards in a game since like no. by, by a quarterback yeah. since like twenty nineteen or I something? Believe I believe if my I kind of looked it up before this. I believe you were like twenty eight yards off of the all time like record. Of like co- of like college football yeah. rushing yards, and you did it in a half, yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, take me through that game because you also had you had ESPN top play of the week because you oh take me through it because that's got to be like a crazy experience for you. So during the game, like we were we were doing good, like we were just having like yeah. so it was on our part. Like it's not like the defense was stopping us, and like, we were just shooting ourselves in the foot. But like when we got to halftime, you know how like on, on halftime, like we talk about what we're gonna do coming out. And I see the plays getting run up. I'm like, okay, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Okay, all six of them, I'm in. Like, okay, like, it's my opportunity. So I'm getting loose, really. But I'm not really I'm not really warming up. I'm just, like, yeah. just standing there, like, just stretching. Coach Matt comes up to me. He's like, Bert, are you ready? I'm like, yes, sir. Like, I got you. Because earlier in the week, uh, I don't know if you remember, I had a really terrible practice. And like it was bad, bro. It was my, probably my worst practice I've had since I've got up here. And and coach was like, "You gotta do better." Like, and that, that stuck with me. So we get to halftime. And he's like, "You ready?" I'm like, "Yeah." We go out there, first play, pull it. I see Dub right. Anytime I'm running behind Dub, it's all good things happen. <laughs> I see Dub. Dub doesn't touch nobody because there's nobody there. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm not. Bro. <laughs> so I'm running. Oh snap! I see Los because Los was out in front of me. Yeah. And he was blocking number two. And I'm like, Los got that block. Like, I'm I'm good. So I'm running. I'm not thinking I'm finna go score at this point. I'm thinking like somebody's close to me. Yeah. I look up and I see on the screen. I'm like, nobody's around me, bro. Like, I gotta go score now. Get to the end zone. I was just like, I don't know what happened. I just went blank out. Black out, yeah. Then, that was so sick. Cause on the first play off a of snap, I was on the back side of it. Yeah. You took off. I was like, oh my God, I couldn't <laughs> even believe it. It was um that was the most unreal thing ever. 
Dude, and I want to say this because I don't know if I ever told you this. When you run, it is like, it is freaky. Like, you don't, but like, a, you're a bigger guy. Yeah. You're like, probably taller than me. And I feel like when you see, like, fast people, you're like, oh, like, they're moving their legs. Like, you don't look like you're moving I your don't legs look fast, fast yeah. but you are just, like, it's like a glide. It's like, floating. like, you're, like, yeah. floating. And I'm, it's it's all stride, bro. Yeah. All stride. It's, like, the most unbelievable thing. I put you, I always tell people, people are like, is he, like, fat? I'm like, I Did you do track in, like, high school? Like, you had to have, bro. Yeah, so, senior year. I never, I never ran all four years, but senior year was, mm. like, I took it serious. Because junior year, we went out bad. We dropped a stick in regionals. Right. So it was, like. Yeah, like, I can't, yeah, I can't yeah. let that happen again. So senior year, like senior football season, I was two fifteen. I cut all the way down to one ninety five. Gosh, bro, like I, I was light, bro. I was cut up, bro. I was looking good, bro. I still, <laughs> like I never been that ripped in my life. But I ran track, I ran the two hundred. I ran one, two, and four. But my favorite event was a two, and I was on all the relays. What'd you run the two? Officially. Officially, or I, you throw some times out there. Nobody's questioning you here. Official time. Was twenty one point one, but what they Dang. got me at was twenty point nine. Dang. Yeah, that's fast. And so I lost. Did you do? I broke twenty two. I I wasn't like a two one. I'm not a sprinter. Like I got like a lot. I think I was twenty one nine officially or something yeah. like that. But I did open four. My open four was like a low forty eight. Yeah, I I couldn't do that. I like, was like I, could, a, I was like, what'd you do in the one? Ten five. Okay, like I never. I was like ten eight something. I can never. I can't come out of blocks like that. Yeah. Like I'm not like a speed guy. I'm like a big glide guy. Yeah, bro. I got walked down one time in the four by one. The dude, he's going to call you got hawked, track. bro. I won uh, the race. I won the race. Oh, you did? Okay. I won the race. But, but he, he came. He was coming, <laughs> bro. I'm running. Look, keep in mind, I just came off the flu. That's, <laughs> okay, that's my excuse. Okay. That's my excuse. Flu game. Flu game. <laughs> that's my excuse, right? So you all year, I've been second leg. We get to the meet, and my name's his coach. His coach Marlboro. So coach Marlboro was like, he like Bert. You know, Xavier Hampshire messed up. I need you to run anchor. I'm like, anchor. I'm like, you playing around? Like, I don't run anchor leg. Like, that's not me. Like, that's not what I do. He was like, I need you to do it. I'm like, all right, coach, I got you. So we work at handoffs. I'm feeling good, and I get to the race. I look around. I'm like, bro, everybody like five five. Dude, like, that's just. I literally, I did like a like a. Someone interviewed me one time. And they took a quote, and it's like, you take it. I'm like. I always see pictures of the starting line, and it's like me, and then a bunch of like five, six, five, seven, what? and it looks hilarious. Exactly. So like, I'm like, I'm like, maybe it can't keep up with me. Then I look to my right, right. I know this dude because like we always grew up together. He's my my cousin goes to high school with him, so I know him. See this dude named Isaac. I'm like, damn, bro, I got to race against Isaac, bro. <laughs> Isaac's a ten one in the hundred. That's crazy. And he's a twenty point seven in the two, so I know he fast. So we get the stick. I'll get the stick in first. So I'm moving. And I hear, ooh. I'm like, bro, that's not for me. I know it's not. So I get to finish like I lean. When I lean, he's like diving through the line. Like falls through rolls. I'm like, damn, Isaac, you good? Like I go help him up. It took like 20 minutes to review who won, bro. We won. Oh, so yeah. it was that. Don't me wrong. I got the gold medal at the end of the race. I mean, I got the gold medal at the end of the race. But he was coming. Bro. He posted the he posted a TikTok about it afterwards. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, you know what, bro, you got it. This ain't even for me. I play football. You know? so, <laughs> I'm just out here to have fun. That's crazy. Back to we'll go back to the Buffalo game. Mm -hmm. Then I can't remember. So you had you had that play, right? Then I think they went three and out or something like that. Was it mm -hmm. back to back plays or back to back drives when you came and you had like the roll off and like mm -mm. there was one between. So that. it was that one. It was that drive I scored. The next drive I ran all the way down there, threw the one to Cade. Cade dove in. They caught another touchdown. That's right. That's right. Then. Then we tried to throw it to Los, and the D lineman blocked it. Yes, so that I was that, that drive. Mm -hmm. Then the next drive was when that's when you had the roll off. No, Take no, me no. through that play because that was the, I was on the sideline. I was right. on the field for that one. I remember you like rolled up, and I was like, "Oh, like great!" But right. then I, the safety came off like across the field, and I was like, "Oh, like good pickup." Mm -hmm. And then like because I lost you, like you you weren't my view line, uh -huh. and then all of a sudden everybody was like, "Yeah!" <laughs> I was like, "No way!" He got through that. You okay, got, walk so me this is that what one. happened. So I pulled it. Went left. I broke like three tackles. I felt myself going down. I sat on the dude's helmet. That sounds very weird. I sat on the dude's helmet, bro. <laughs> pause. Pause. <laughs> sat on the dude's helmet. Pause. When I got up, I was like, they ain't blow the whistle. So I'm going to keep on running. So I started running. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, I'm not moving. I'm thinking I'm going to get walked down again. Because I see old dude, number three, yeah. coming. I'm like, oh, my God, bro. He's going to push me out. I go to stiff arm him. I missed the stiff arm. 
but he missed a tackle at the same time. Yeah. So it's I got like a weird zone. push. But like, honestly, going through the play, I didn't know what happened. I just saw I broke a tackle and I got up. I didn't know I sat on him. Yeah. Until afterwards, like all the social media stuff, yeah. everybody was talking to me about it. I was like, bro, I don't know. Then when I got to the sideline, that I'm like, I hate going to the sideline after touchdowns. Why? Because we all jump Bro, on you and stuff. I took, so look, the first touchdown, I made the wrong mistake. I kept my helmet on. Everybody hit me on the helmet. Yeah. So second one, I'm like, I'm going to be a little smart. Took it off. Because first, well, first. People hit you anyway. Bro, what? <laughs> bam, bam. What? Oh, my God. So low shook me. Like, like shook me like double hand, grabbed inside my shoulder pads, like perfect technique. And started shaking me. I'm like, damn, Lowe's like chill. So after that, I take my helmet off. I get a sign. Everybody started punching me. I'm getting hit in my head and my chest. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, this hurts. Like, I, I took more hits on the sideline that game than I did in the actual game. Like, it was just a wild experience, bro. That's sick. Yeah, I'll never forget, like, coming back after that. One. That was, like, so hype. Everybody was – and then I remember ESPN top yeah. play of the week and everything. Like, that's – God, that's always – I feel like that's every kid's dream is to, like, be on that, like, you know, number one mm-hmm. play. So that's, like, so sweet for you. And then it kept going. My, my favorite play from you this year – was Western game. The snow game? Yeah. So, like, for people that don't know, we played Western Michigan. We went in for, like, pregame. There was, it was, like, starting to flurry. We walked out six to eight inches on the field in, like, the span of 15 minutes. And so, by the time the kickoff, there might be a foot on the field. Like, they're trying. Yeah. Like, it is a full-out blizzard. So, Burt gets the ball. And, like, you can't. It's snow. Like, you not, can't run very well. He, like, runs to the sideline. Their whole defense, like, comes this way. Like this, and then he, like, everyone's in slow. I slid. Like, I cuts, sh- sliding he, back. He, like, cuts back. And he's running. And everybody else is trying to, like, cut back with him. But everybody's, like, like you don't want to <laughs> move. And he just runs around everybody for, like, another 80-yard touchdown. We were yeah. all like, what? It was, yeah. That was, like, the it's funniest like some Madden ever. shit right there. Bro, it was hilarious. Because from this, I wasn't in that play either. You went out wide. And, everybody, like, the whole defense was, like, Trying to like turn with you and like nobody could move and it was the like funniest thing ever. As you can see, the hamster's losing its mind right now. This yeah. is Alex Hamster. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know what that sound was. I didn't even. Keep it. <laughs> it's I a hamster freaking ever. hamster, Alex. So after the Akron game, I'm getting on the bus. I get a call from Alex. I bought a hamster. I'm like, <laughs> what it, made was, you do it that? was an I'm impulse like, decision. Why? I regret it. That's, that's I'm like, enough. why? That's fair enough, bro. He's like. Oh no! I like, just needed. I needed something some cooler than a hamster. Right? What am I supposed to get a in dog? the dorm? In the dorm? Yeah. You get a service dog. Jake, I don't got have dog. problems to get a service you dog. You don't have to look. My sister. My anxiety. My is sister that... got a dog, and she got it service tags like for an emotional support dog, so she could take it anywhere. She has no issues. There's nothing wrong with her. <laughs> she just does that so she can take it anywhere. Like no. that's that's all you have to do. Your bro. sister gets caught now from this video. <laughs> hey, it no. happens. Another question I want to ask you. We kind of. I'm, Briefly, like, touched on it. Your dad, Burt Emanuel, mm-hmm. played in the NFL. Talk about quickly, if you want, just, like, what it's like growing up with a dad. Did he play when you were alive, or was he retired? He, he by retired time? the year I was born. Okay, cool. Yeah. So then, like, what was it like growing up with a dad in that situation? Like, that's got to be. Okay. Back. Oh, really? So this, this is how he made it to the league. 15 teams. At the time, there was 30 teams in the league. So 15 yeah. teams wanted him at quarterback. 15 teams wanted him at receiver. He went to his pro day. Because he was going to end up making more money at receiver than quarterback because nobody really thought he could play quarterback. They were just going to have him on the team just for, like, a few packages and stuff. So he went to his pro day. He ended up running his 40. He went 4-2. That's where I get my speed from. Yeah, so he went, he went four that's two. fast. <laughs> yeah, that's fast. So he went 4-2-5 he went at his pro day, and that's how he made it to the league. He ended up getting drafted by the Falcons in the second round. Mm-hmm. He was on them for, like, four years. He ended up having a year with 1,000 receiving yards. That's sick. But – it's just it's it's like there's pros. Don't get me wrong, cause it like yeah. the mental stuff and the IQ. Like he teaches me a lot of stuff, how to handle certain things, certain situations. Only bad thing is like it always get compared back to him. Or like yeah. any time they bring up my name, they bring up his name, and it's like okay, I need to figure out a way to get out of his shadow and be my own person. But I don't take it negatively. I enjoy having my dad around. But like when I was young, cause I have older siblings. I'm the youngest of five. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm the youngest of five. So he was always with my sisters. All of them played sports. Yeah. So it was I was I was always the youngest. I didn't I got into sports last. So it was just it was it's cool, but it's it has its negatives at the same time. Who's like the most famous person your dad knows? I'm curious. Um I'm trying to think about who you know Did he play with, with no, he's not that old. Well Dion wouldn't have been on the Falcons then. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought they're gonna yeah, say like his first Mike year Vick was Dion's last year. 
Oh, his first year the, was Beckham that team? Uh-uh. No. My dad got drafted in 94. So okay, Dion's so yeah. last year on the Falcons was my dad's first year on the Falcons. Oh, my dad played against Dion. That's sick. Um, the most famous, you know, um, the dude in Fast and Furious. Black ball dude. Yes. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. That's yes. the most famous person my dad has in his phone. That's what? funny. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. That, that guy's hysterical. Well, that, that, I, that I know. He probably has like coaches, like NFL coaches yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. But other than that. that. That's sick. See, wasn't this this wasn't even that hard, was it? It is. I, no, it's not. It You're is. just having I don't a conversation. Like oh. Everybody, Bert did great. Thank you, Bert. I'll dap you up, my boy. I appreciate you coming on the podcast. Yeah, brother. We're going to be doing more of this stuff. I'm going to be... Trying to do a better job of promoting it We're in it since I'm back. Like I said, we kind of packed a bunch in in the last few weeks or that last week of school. So now we're back. We're going to be knocking them out. Saturdays at 2 p.m. coming out. First one with Burt Manuel. I'm, I want you to know I'm titling this the next Lamar Jackson. That's going to be my like. You got it, bro. Thing got it. Out. Yeah. So yeah. that's what it's going to be. It. Thank you for watching. Anything for the fans. <laughs> Subscribe <laughs> if you guys haven't already. Comment, like, share it. Do whatever you want. We really appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys next time. See ya. Peace out.